Okay, so in one of our previous videos, we have spoken about the difference in the brain size from one species to another and we have even given you the sizes of the brains of these different species. If you want to check that out, do click on the given link. So basically, we have made a video on the evolution of brain sizes. But one question we forgot to ask is does brain size really matter in evolution? We are here to answer that for you. Simple answer is brain growth does encourage evolution. As early humans faced new environmental changes and evolved bigger bodies, they also evolved larger and more complex brains. From primitive small brains of only 350 cubic centimeters, our brains have come a long way to 1350 cubic centimeters. When it came to our ancestors, the big advantage of brain size in their social interactions and encounters with unfamiliar habitats is that complex brains can process and store a lot of information. And that is the same case when it comes to us, the modern humans. But this increase was not gradual and steady. Over the course of human evolution, brain size tripled and the modern human brain is the largest and most complex of any living primate which explains why we are fast in tackling problems while our ancestors were slow. The reason for the small brain size in our earliest ancestors was that the strong jaw muscles of primates actually restricted the growth of the skull. From 6 to 2 million years ago, Early humans began to walk upright and make simple tools, which is an indication that brain size increased, but only slightly, due to the restriction. This restriction disappeared roughly 2.5 million years ago with Homo habilis, probably as a result of climate and environment change. From 2 million to 800,000 years ago, Early humans spread around the globe, encountering many new environments on different continents. These challenges led to an increase in body size along with an increase in brain size. This change highlighted the benefits of two of our greatest tools, adaptability and social cohesion. During these two time periods, brain sizes didn't differ much but during the period between 800,000 and 200,000 years ago, human brain size evolved most rapidly. So why the sudden increase in brain size? Due to the dramatic climate change, larger and more complex brains enabled early humans of this time period to interact with each other and with their surroundings in new and different ways. As the environment became more unpredictable, bigger brains helped our ancestors survive. Modern humans and Neanderthals living before the last ice age during 20,000 to 30,000 years ago had bigger brains than people living today. And as Stephen Oppenheimer states, rapidly increasing brain size was a key feature that set humans apart from the walking apes that lived before 2.5 million years ago. Therefore, to end this, let me tell you a few of the benefits of a large brain. It can store many decades worth of information. It can collect and process information, then deliver output in split seconds. It can solve problems and it can create abstract ideas and images and so much more. But a big brain gobbles up energy. No complaints though, right? Well, with that, we have come to the end of the video. Hope you liked it. For more related videos, check our channel out and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.